Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. For many project types, you can create work resources that fit a general type of work. For example, if creating a software development project file, you could have a programmer work resource as a general type of work resource. Now assume that the first week of the project you will have one programmer, then two programmers the second week, and finally three programmers for the remainder of the project. In this case, you can use the Max Units field inside of the Resource Availability table shown in the Resource Information dialog box for that program or work resource to set the maximum hours of availability for the program or work resource for the different time periods. This is similar to setting different pay rates for work resources, only this time we are changing the maximum number of hours available for the different time periods within a single project for a single generalized type of work resource. Now to do this, first switch your project file to the resource sheet view by clicking the Gantt chart drop down button that appears in the view button group on the task tab on the ribbon and then selecting the resource sheet command from the buttons drop down menu. Next select the desired work resource whose resource availability you wish to change from the listing shown in the resource sheet view of your project file. Then click the information button in the properties group on the resource tab in the ribbon in order to display the resource information dialog box. Next, use the Available From, Available To, and Units fields within the Resource Availability table on the General tab to set the dates and resource availability for the desired resource. So using the example given earlier, you would select the dates of the first week of your project and enter 100% availability for the units. Then you would select the start and end dates of the second week of the project from the available from and available to drop downs, and then you would send 200% for the units. You would then repeat this step for the third week, selecting the desired effective date to start and setting the units to 300% for the remainder of the project. This allows Microsoft Project to accurately schedule the work based on the resource availability. Now once you've finished setting your resource availability in this dialog box, Click the OK button to set the new availability rates. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.